We are presenting a systemic approach to decompression of a mucoid degeneration of the left ACL. There are no conflict of interest with this presentation. Standard anterolateral portal, the left knee is visualized and you can see that the ACL is occupying the entire notch of the femoral condyle, measuring about 16 millimeters. The left femoral condyle is uh, normal in, in, and the chondral changes are minimal. Debulking of the ACL is done with the spinal needle as shown. The anteromedial bundle of the ACL is marked here. Shaver at a low speed is used along with the radio frequency ablation probe in sequential mode to debulk the anteromedial bundle of the ACL. We then proceed to debulk the anteromedial bundle of the ACL and also we try to recreate the triangle between the ACL and the PCL with sequential use of the radio frequency ablation probe and the shaver in this fashion. It is important for us to establish the Howell's triangle between the ACL and PCL to prevent impingement. Once the anterior medial bundle is decompressed, the posterior lateral bundle of the ACL is to be decompressed in the figure of 4 position. The completion of decompression of the posterior lateral bundle of the ACL is visualized by seeing the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus and that completes the decompression of the ACL in its entirety. You can see that the bulk of the ACL is decompressed. Now, we also found that in this case, there was a small tear of the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus, which was repaired by all inside meniscal suture device. A microfracture was done to stimulate healing of the already decompressed ACL. You can see before and after decompression of the anterior medial bundle. You can also visualize the posterior lateral bundle decompression before and after the procedure. We can also decompress the posterior medial and the posterior lateral compartments of the knee if there is any changes in the ACL in that area. Thank you for allowing us to present this video to you.